Hi guys, welcome to our next video in our series from Salu. And today we are talking about something which we both really love, food. Yes, so before we came away on holiday, we had friends that were here last year staying at the Villa Romana and they were disappointed with the food. Um, they said the choices weren't great and they said that a lot of food, food was undercooked at times so we were initially a bit apprehensive coming away obviously i've stayed here a number of times before and had no issue with the food before thought there was lots of choice it was always piping hot there was no issues with the way things were cooked so we were slightly concerned um however generally we feel as if you know we have had no issues with the food while we've been here So breakfast in the Villa Romana is between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. every day. It's the same every day here. Um, we have loved the breakfast here. So you have so much choice in the morning. Um, there's pancakes made fresh for you and a fried egg station every morning. There's an omelet station made, they're made literally in front of you every morning. Um, there's lots of options for hot food as well. Um, there's lots of pastries and continental selection, all your cheeses and hams and breads and everything. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. And there is Prosecco every morning too, which is also a little added bonus for some people. Um, so yes, yeah, so there's certainly lots and lots of choice for breakfast. We've never had an issue with breakfast. And yeah, obviously we've been here for two weeks. After two weeks, obviously it becomes a little bit repetitive, but we certainly have enjoyed breakfast every morning.
So dinner at the Villa Romana was again quite nice. We had no real complaints about dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, plenty of choice. Uh, what they did try to do at dinner was uh, Rachel had said before that they had theme nights. Uh, this time it wasn't really a theme night, it was more just a particular station had a theme. So there would have been Mexican nights where you had your tacos and your fajitas. And then there was a cheese board night, there was uh, different nights and stuff. So, uh, But it was quite nice. The added bonus at uh, dinner time was the fact that there was actually a wee food truck outside. And it changed every night what it did. And it was quite nice. Uh, you also had your desserts at nights which were good. Uh, my favourite was the uh, the fruit tart. They did a wee fruit tart. It was lovely. Uh, it was very, very nice. And then you had your chips and stuff. And and uh, some nights there was burgers. Other nights there was, there was always a night where they had uh, a roast. A roast of the day. So it would have been chicken some nights. It would have been pork some nights. And some nights it would have been turkey as well, which was really, really good. Uh, and we, well, one night we, a couple of nights even we had uh, Yorkshire puddings, which were yeah, great. It was great. Uh, and another thing they did was then like the likes of the cart door ice cream, yeah. you know, little truck thing they brought in, and they did that at the door coming in one night. Um, you know, there was a chocolate fountain for dessert, maybe two or three nights that we were here out of the fortnight. So they you seem to work kind of on a, a week rotation. So what we kind of got the first week, we then was, has been repeated the second week we've been here. Uh, again, lots of choice. You know, we've spoken to people, you know, here who have complained a little bit about it's quite fishy. Yes, there's always quite a lot of options for fish, but we certainly have never struggled to get anything that we would eat. And one of the times I was here previously, everything was veal. Veal was offered every night. We haven't had it once the whole time we've been here. Um, it's been chicken and pork and beef and um, and there's a lot of vegetarian options as well for people. Um, for tonight, tonight, for example, there was vegetarian lasagna on as one of the options. So like there's certainly do cater um, to everyone's needs. My mum is gluten free and they do have a gluten free menu. However, it's been a wee bit tricky to get access to it in the fact that in the morning the gluten-free bread is behind the omelette station so mum has to queue up in the morning in the omelette queue which is actually quite long it's really busy it's really popular and wait to get to the top of that before she can ask for her gluten-free bread to be toasted in a separate toaster so we things like that could possibly be done better food wise in in the morning time the evening time there's lots of options for mum mum hasn't had any issue eating any of the dinners desserts there's little option really yeah. she's had ice cream quite a lot she's had rice pudding and things like that fresh fruit fresh, fresh fruit. fruit as well as always available all day yeah. um as is all kinds of bread is available all day um so there's plenty of those options as well mm -hmm. so we obviously uh, a couple of times had a couple of nights out so if you have been watching our videos you'll have seen that we went to the guinness tavern one night and then also we went to the house of illusion and both those were evenings so for those days we then swapped and had lunch uh, at the hotel now we, we didn't really the lunch was a bit hit or miss uh, we it was a very limited choice at lunchtime it was a, a very very watered down dinner service if, if i would say that was yeah how to describe it like the first day it was quite good they offered gourmet toasties basically and there was a guy there making toasties and all the selection was out in front and you picked what you wanted and he made it for you there and then that was a really good station and um, we had friends that went one day and there was hot dogs on and things like that the last time we went it was quite poor um, you built yourself up for a toastie i was really looking forward to a toastie and it wasn't there um but yeah so they do seem to change it up every day it does seem to be different um but the lunch selection we definitely didn't enjoy it anywhere near as much as we've enjoyed dinners here it was definitely a much less much less choice but also just there wasn't as many stations open and yeah it just wasn't as good as dinner as it has been really yeah well, i think i think all in all if you are coming uh definitely the villa romana for us yeah. certainly and by no means are we fussy eaters but there's definitely, I would say, there's something for everybody. Uh, you'll not go hungry if you come. Uh, you know, there's plenty of choice. There's plenty of choice for kids as well. There's actually a separate kids station where they have sort of like chicken nuggets and, and chips and then there's Pasta, jelly and yeah. wee yogurts and mm -hmm. stuff. 
uh, and we jelly sweets for those every night or for the kids every night what we can say is the staff are just exceptional they are so good in the restaurant they're so lovely as soon as you come in hola talking away to you really really lovely the staff have been amazing um in the restaurant so so good so helpful and uh, taking your plates away whenever you're finished um you know just the staff have been really good yeah, you couldn't fault good. the staff they've been lovely really one, really lovely one thing again about dinner is obviously uh at breakfast in the morning your tea, coffee, and fruit juices are all provided as part of your as part of your breakfast. Uh, at night, uh, there will be a member of staff will come to you and ask you what drinks you would like. Uh, there is beer, there's soft drinks, and there's water. We mostly had water whenever we were stay, where had dinner at night, yeah. uh, and they bring that to your table. And basically, what they do is they just ask you what you want. They write it in a wee receipt. They ask you what your room number is. And then they give you that receipt and you just pay that on the way out and it's very reasonable they brought us two sort of one and a half liter bottles of water and it was five euro for the two of them yeah. uh, we did sneak in some diluted juice which maybe Don't shouldn't have done Shh, between us uh, and then just topped it up uh, whenever mm -hmm. they weren't looking so that was fine it's handy <laughs> funny story we did get the squirters that you put into the drink but we uh, we left those in Belfast yeah so Wick. so we had to go and buy so, bottles like this while we were here <laughs> yeah. but yeah no definitely for us it was all very very good uh we were very very happy with the food at the villa romana and as i say i think there's something for everybody on the menu we would definitely recommend it yeah thanks for watching the video don't forget to hit the like button if you want to subscribe to the channel hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications.